Hello, everybody. Welcome to AADL Storytime. My name is Elizabeth. I am very happy to be back telling stories with you again this week. And it is a beautiful, sunny day here today, um, which is awesome because sometimes I have some trouble making sure that you can see me uh, with the lighting, but <clears throat> not today. We have the sun shining and I'm excited about that. And I think that we can go ahead and just get right into things by saying hello to everyone. So if I can see your hands, bread and butter, marmalade and jam, let's say hello as fast as we can. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello. Couple more. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as soft as we can. Great job, everyone, and hello to you. Hello to whoever you are watching with, and uh, hello to everyone. Let's uh, see your fingers. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Lay them on your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them. Creepy, creepy, creep them right up to your chin 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 open wide your little mouth ah but do not let them in shake them shake them shake them shake them just like this 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 Roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them. Blow a little kiss. Mwah! Nice job, everyone. Oh, I am chilly today. Even though the sun is out, it sure is cold. I am bundled up in my sweatshirt. I hope that you all have been able to stay warm during these really cold past few weeks. So... Anyway, it is time for the letter of the day. And today, the letter of the day is the very first letter of the alphabet. And I bet a lot of you know what that letter is. What does the alphabet start with? The letter A. And a lot of things start with A. Alphabet starts with A. And let's see, what else can we think of that starts with A? Put on your thinking cap and think of things that start with A. Hmm. How about apples? I like to eat apples. How about, hmm, I'm thinking of a dinosaur called an Allosaurus. That's a big long word, starts with A. Lots of things start with A. We have kind of a classic theme today. Our theme is just animals. Animals starts with A. And I am looking forward to the awesome, there's another A word, stories we have today that are about animals. And some of them are pretty funny. So I like funny stories. So I'm excited. 
All right. Before we settle in for our first story, of course, you know that we have to do our stretch. And let's take our big stretch out wide. Big stretch up tall. Give yourself a hug. Let's stretch across your body. Stretch your other arm across your body. Stretch both arms and reach, reach, reach. Ah, sometimes that can feel like a good stretch in your back. Let's stretch out as wide as we can and move our arms up to reach for the sky. Give your fingers a little wiggle at the top. Can you tap your nose? Tap your toes, reach down. Tap your head. Tap your belly. Let's have one more big stretch out wide. Lean to the side. Lean to the other side. Moving our arms up, 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 up. Big breath. Ah. All right. It is finally time for our first story. This is a short story that is very funny. Um, and these felt, actually, so it comes from a board book, 15 Animals by Sandra Boyton. She does a lot of awesome, funny board books. You can check this out at the library um, if you want a... Um, version for yourself, but one of our old librarians who doesn't work at the library anymore, um, she made beautiful felts for this story, and I'm going to use those today on the camera because they're a lot bigger and brighter, and so I think it will be easier for everyone to see. So this story is called 15 Animals. I really like animals. I like them a lot. And you know what? I have 15 animals. 15 animals is what I've got. I've got 15 animals. They're friendly and tame. And I've given each one of those animals a very special name. Do you want to hear the names of all my animals? Well, I've got a cat named Bob. I've got a dog named Bob. I've got two fish and they are called Bob and Bob. Then there's Bob, my hamster, and Bob, my horse, and my piglet, who is known as Bob, of course. There's my rabbit, Bob and his bunny wife named Bob. And their three bunny kids, Bob, Bob, and Bob. There's Bob the mouse and Bob the bird, and here is my turtle. Can you guess what his name is? It's Simon James Alexander III. The end. Nice listening, everybody. That's one of my favorite ones. He names all the animals Bob except for his turtle, who he gives a lot of names. All right, just a reminder, that was 15 animals. You can check out the board book, board book version of this story at the library if you're interested. 
All right, we are going to read a book next, and after the book we'll stand up and move around a little, but uh, we're going to read a book next, and this is Good Night Bat, Good Morning Squirrel. This is one of my favorites, too. Bat needed a new home. I lost my home. Can I stay with you? said Bat. Sorry, we already have too many bats living here, the old bat said. I lost my house. Can I live here? said Bat. Yes, but I might eat you, said the fox. Hmm, no thank you, said Bat. I lost my home. Can I share yours? asked Bat. No way. Bats are stinky. Please go away, said the skunk. I think skunks are a little stinkier than bats. I don't know. Bat searched high, Bat searched low, and Bat searched everywhere in between. Then he spotted something. What's this? A big pile of leaves in a tree. The clump of leaves and sticks had a small opening with a cozy home inside. Bat could even hang from one of the twigs at bedtime. <gasps> Perfect, thought Bat. Bat gathered bugs for a snack for later. Then he hopped up on a twig and fell fast asleep. Squirrel lived in the house. She was dreaming of nuts. Delicious nuts. Crunchy nuts. Snoring nuts? <sniffs> when Squirrel woke up, she was startled to discover a bat sleeping upside down in her house. Excuse me, this is my home, Squirrel said to Bat. Squirrel shook Bat. I'm going out to hide acorns. Please leave before I get back. Bat was sound asleep. But Squirrel had the correct feeling that Bat wasn't listening. To be on the safe side, Squirrel left a note for Bat. At dusk, Bat woke up and found the note. Dear Bat, bug off. Sincerely, Squirrel. Oh, Squirrel doesn't like bugs on the bed, thought Bat. He piled the bugs in a corner, wrote Squirrel a polite reply, and then took off for bug hunting. Bat's note said, sorry about the bugs. See you later, Bat. Squirrel came home a little while later, ready for a good night's sleep. See you later, she thought. We'll see about that. Before climbing into bed, she hung a new note outside near the opening of her nest. Dear Bat, Bat's not welcome. Sincerely, Squirrel. Hunting mosquitoes, hoppers, and stink bugs all night made Bat tired. He couldn't wait to curl up on his twig. When he got back to Squirrel's house, he saw the new note. Dear Bat, Bat's welcome. Sincerely, Squirrel. Uh-oh. See what happened? There's a bug covering the knot. What a nice friend, thought Bat. And he wrote back to Squirrel. Hi. Thanks for the warm welcome. Bat. Again? said Squirrel when Bat's snoring woke her up. Before she left for another busy day, she wrote her most forceful note yet. Dear Bat, leave my house. Sincerely, Squirrel. Bat woke up. He stretched. Squirrel's latest note was hard to miss. Bat smiled when he read it. Okay, he thought. In the moonlight, Bat added more leaves to Squirrel's house. It nearly doubled in size. 
Bat was exhausted after the long night of work. Before he fell asleep, he wrote to Squirrel. I leave your house. I hope you like it. Bat. Huh? Squirrel thought Squirrel when she read the new note. That bat is batty. Before she left the snoring bat to find nuts, Squirrel thought she would write one very last note. Outside, she noticed all the new leaves that Bat had added. Hmm, that's pretty nice, thought Squirrel. Dear Bat, scram. Adios. Goodbye. Bat woke up at sunset. He didn't see Squirrel on her bed. Ski ram? Adios. Goodbye, read Bat. I wonder why Squirrel left. Bat flew off to find bugs. Meanwhile, Squirrel sat on a stump. She was sure her last note made Bat leave. She started to miss him. He did fix up my house, thought Squirrel, and he left really nice notes. While catching bugs, Bat thought about how lonely it would be without Squirrel, and he started to miss Squirrel. Bat flew back just as Squirrel came home late. You didn't leave, Squirrel shouted happily. You didn't either, shouted Bat. Want to come inside? I'll teach you my favorite game, said Squirrel. Sure, said Bat. Bat and Squirrel played tic-tac-toe until sunrise. That was fun. I'm sleepy, Bat yawned as he hopped up on his stick. Good night, Bat, said Squirrel. Good morning, Squirrel, said Bat. See you later, said Squirrel. But Squirrel had a feeling that Bat wasn't listening. So Squirrel left one very, very last note. Dear Bat, welcome to our house. See you later, your friend, Squirrel. The end. Nice job, everybody. All right, let's stand up for a little stretch. Let's see. I'm trying to think if there's a song that I haven't done in a while that I would like to do. I think I would like to go to the moon. So if we're standing up, you can follow along. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb on board my rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Let's do it again. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon in five, four, Three, two, one, blast off! Let's do it one more time. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb on board my rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Great job, everyone. All right, let's take a seat, settle back down. I'll give you a second to get comfortable again. And once you're sitting down, can I see your fingers? I have 10 fingers. They all belong to me. I can make them do things. Do you want to see? I can make them jump high. I can make them jump low. I can hold them tight, just so. I can squeeze them tight. I can open them wide. I can wave them 
all around. I can make them all hide. I can make them jump high. I can make them jump low. I can fold them tight and hold them just so. All right, we have a fun little rhyme next. And I am gonna ask you to help me count here. Let's see, I always struggle with this a little bit. All right, I guess that's good enough. Maybe I can move over a little bit. All right, I need you to help me count how many frogs we have. Frogs are animals. Here is one. Here is two. Three, four, and five. Five frogs. And we have a little rhyme to do with these frogs. And if you want to join in and keep a rhythm, you can. It goes like this. Five green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool, wee! Where it was nice and cool, now there are four green speckled frogs. Four green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool, wee! Where it was nice and cool, now there's just three green speckled frogs. Three green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool, wee! Where it was nice and cool. Now there's just two green speckled frogs. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool, wee! Where it was nice and cool. Now there's just one green speckled frog. One green and speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. It jumped into the pool, wee! Where it was nice and cool, now there are no green speckled frogs. Splash, splash. Nice job, everyone. All right, we have one last story today. Let me just get organized here real quick. Put away my frogs. And this one is called Happy Lion. All right. Once there was a happy lion who lived in a zoo in France. He had his own house with a nice fence in the middle of a city park and flowers grew all around. Every morning, let me adjust here. Every morning, Francois, the zookeeper's son, stopped on his way to school and said, Bonjour, happy lion. Every afternoon, Monsieur Dupont stopped on his way home and said, Bonjour, happy lion. And every day, Madame Pinson knit while she sat on a bench in the park and she never left without saying au revoir happy lion on sundays people in town would visit the zoo and they would all say bonjour and au revoir happy lion well one day lion was in his house and he found that the door to his house was not closed all the way. <gasps> well, I don't like that. He thought anyone might be able to come in here. <gasps> but on second thought, he thought, you know what? Maybe I'll go for a walk and I'll see how all my friends are. 
So Lion left his house and started walking through the park. And he said, bonjour to the busy sparrows. And they said, bonjour, happy lion. And Lion said, bonjour to the quick red squirrel. And the squirrel said, bonjour, happy lion. Oh, well then Lion saw Monsieur Dupont who always said bonjour to him on his way to work. And so Happy Lion said, bonjour, monsieur. But, uh-oh, Monsieur Dupont said, ah! And he fainted right on the ground. Oh, well, Happy Lion thought that that was a little bit unusual. Then he saw his friend, Madame Pisson, walking along with some groceries. And he said, bonjour, Madame Pisson. And she said, ah, and she threw her groceries at him. Oh, well, I can't understand why they're doing that, thought Happy Lion. Everyone is so nice to me when they come and visit me at the zoo. Now they're screaming and throwing things at me. Oh. But then Lion heard a new noise, and it sounded like, dee -doo, dee -doo, dee -doo, honk, honk, honk. It was a fire engine coming down the street. Firefighters hauled a hose and slowly started walking toward Happy Lion. Well, Happy Lion did not want to miss what was going to happen, so he sat down to watch. Happy Lion heard a voice behind him say, Bonjour, Happy Lion. And it was Francois, the zookeeper's son, on his way home from school. The happy lion was so happy that one of his friends did not run away that he forgot all about the firefighters. Francois put his hand on the lion's mane and said, let's walk back to the park together. From then on, happy lion stayed in his house at the zoo. Even if you left his door open, he did not go out because his friends were polite and sensible again. They said bonjour when they walked by. They did not throw things at him or faint. And Happy Lion would not want it any different. The end. Well, nice listening today, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for another story time. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it too. And as always, you can turn in, tune in every weekday morning at 10 a.m. for a different storyteller telling stories. We have um, all different styles and we tell all of our favorite stories. So it's always fun. And I'm sure you, if you're watching this, you already know all about that. So thank you again for joining us and we'll, we will wave goodbye. Bye. And we will see you next time.